Hello everybody, my name is Matt Reichenthal with Texas Iron to Metal here in Houston, Texas. Uh, I'm a true believer that every steel buyer needs a great steel supplier in their corner looking to provide them with opportunities, not only to save them money, but to save them time and to uh, you know be a, a partner, be a part of their team. Um, but wanted to start off with uh, a little bit of a new series that I'm going to be uh, doing over the next few weeks and really an education process about you know the surplus steel market when what is surplus steel why surplus steel exists and what are the different forms of surplus steel so uh, the first uh, category I want to talk about this week is excess inventory not only excess inventory but excess inventory in prime condition new condition what this means uh, it could be in a few different things uh, this could mean that Either it can come from a, a supplier, a distributor, or it can also come from a fabrication company or manufacturer. And in many cases, what happens is maybe uh, material was overpurchased. Maybe they just simply ordered too much material, number one. Uh, number two, maybe there was a project uh, uh, change, a pro uh, project spec change, where material was initially ordered uh, anticipating uh, a certain size. They went ahead and bought it and then they found out that they actually really needed a different size because of the engineering process. Uh, sometimes there's a, 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 a cancellation, a project cancellation, uh, which unfortunately happens from time to time. Material was ordered anticipating a big project. Project was canceled or sometimes postponed. But um, you know, when you're holding on to that much inventory, a lot of times it just makes sense to sell it, uh, move on uh, to other performing current projects. Uh, other than holding on to it. Um, and sometimes materials ordered anticipating a certain amount of volume, uh, a certain amount of demand for a particular prod product. Sometimes the uh, insurers may, may test some products out, bringing some stuff in. Sometimes it doesn't move as quickly as they'd like it to, so they got some slow moving inventory that makes more sense, more financial sense to get off their, their books uh, so they can reinvest those monies invested in that slow moving inventory into more better performing items um, that will you know, overall profit the company more money in the long run. But uh, anyway, just a few different scenarios. This is prime inventory, new with MTRs, brand new condition. Um, so just something to be cognizant of when you know thinking about surplus. It's not always old and rusty. It can also be new with surplus. I'm sorry, uh, new with MTRs. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you soon. Thanks.